Hey guys, Pete Blade back here again with another Cyberpunk 2.0 guide and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Trauma Team uniform and little AV. Let's get right to it, shall we? First you want to open your map and head over here to the Kabuki Market. Well, not directly to it, but almost there. I'm going to skip as usual when I'm in front of the place. Just showing you with the map where it is. So here we are guys at the Kabuki market. We need to head over to this place where there's a bridge and there's opening here and there is a hotel sign and a whole bunch of markets. Go down the steps and here on the right there is an arcade behind this door. Keep in mind you have to pay 100 and something credits to enter, 151 credits to enter and then you have access granted to the arcade. And from here, just start the Trauma Drama Arcade. Now guys, you would want to beat this score of 443,300 of Easel in order to get the reward. So first off, complete the first two levels as they are. So just go by it. It's really just a copy of the old school Contra. If you've played that, you shouldn't have any issues. But we, we want to get to a specific level to kind of cheese it and make it easier. So keep going until you get to the next level. So here is the first level completed and we're on stage one, two. Again, just go with the flow and complete this level as usual. I'm gonna to skip to the next one just now. And here we are guys, the second stage completed and we are on stage one, three. This is the stage that we want to get to. Now, here again, just keep going with the flow and play as usual. You're going to get this helicopter. Now, you have a choice of doing this two ways. Either you don't destroy this helicopter as it spawns an infinite amount of enemies. Or you do destroy it and two will pop up. Making this go a little bit faster so that you can actually shoot two enemies at the same time. Now, here I did die doesn't really matter if you die you just lose 10,000 points so if you destroy the helicopter as I said here you will get two helicopters I chose to do this method and basically you will just get one enemy dropping from the left side and one enemy dropping from the right side this is gonna make it a lot faster but it's a bit tedious because you have to be constantly doing it remember guys you do have a pause button so you can always take a break you don't have to do this constantly like a robot so keep that in mind as it saves you a lot of pain now the two best weapons to do this with is either a shotgun or an lmg because basically what you can do is shoot left to right one other tip i want to give is like i'm going to show now you stand in the middle and you shoot left from right however whenever the right enemy drops shoot him first because the spread of your shotgun will get him because it's he's further away at that time don't let him get too close or else this will happen he's going to get too close to you and your shotgun spread is going to miss because it's going to be far too close and it's going to be really annoying to keep going down and up to get him so keep that in mind the next and actually the best weapon for this would be the LMG because it's a constant spray in the wavy line and you can get them both. So I'm just going to touch base on the first tip. Always shoot the right enemy when it starts dropping first. Even if you think that the left one is going to get you first, he won't. Trust me, you have more time to shoot the left one even though he's closer than the one on the right. So let's take a look at the LMG now. So here is the LMG guys. As I said, it sprays constantly in a wavy line. So you can get both the enemies, even the one on the right who is above you because it reaches him. So you're just holding down J to shoot and you're just moving left to right so you can get both enemies. Now this is going to take a while. As I said, the single helicopter method what you could do since you're only going to be facing one way and shooting one enemy is put something heavy on your J key and let it do its thing and go AFK if you wish. I chose this method because it was quicker. It still takes a long time. It took me about maybe 30 minutes. I simply put a 
some series I was watching on the second screen and I didn't really care at the end. And one thing guys to note, don't look at the score. If you keep looking at the score, it's going to seem that it's going to take way longer. And do keep in mind that you can pause and take a break. So I'm going to skip to the end when I finish it and we're going to get to the rewards. So here we are at the end guys, I go to 460k, you just have to beat the 443,000 as I said. When you've gotten to the high score, simply let yourself die in the game and let the timer run out so the game can complete. It doesn't matter, you do not have to complete the game, don't worry about that. You simply have to have that high score and basically you can die right after that. Remember the high score is 443,300. After this, simply exit the arcade game and you'll get a message. Here we are guys, you've got the message from the macroware and notifying you that you are the newest platinum player and you have to visit the Trauma Drama member access portion of the official Trauma team webpage from your computer. Accept the job that comes after that so you can access this from your default apartment so as you can see now the job is going to pop up simply accept this career opportunity so you can track it and it's going to tell you to go to the trauma team net page on your computer so let's go ahead and do that it's going to point you directly to your apartment so i'm going to skip ahead and go to the apartment directly so here we are guys, simply use your computer to access the page, go to the net section and go to the trauma team portal over here and go to the trauma team member access, click next and then scroll down, you will have a lot of information and simply say click on we want you and then apply today. You have a short application submission and wait for it and unfortunately we're not accepted but they're still kind enough to give us some rewards so let's go get them the location will be marked on your map and it will be at the med center which is not that far from your apartment i'm gonna skip ahead when i'm in front of it so here we are in front of the med center guys simply go up to the mark location by the trauma team members here it is again on the map just so you can see oh hey so you simply just have to scan your hand to open the case and verify yourself and open the case and there we have it guys the trauma team uniform and the mini trauma team AV. Let's take a look at it. Thanks Johnny. And there we have the trauma team uniform guys. Looks pretty cool in my opinion doesn't it? And let's take a look at the AV which is a little remote AV that flies around in your apartment. I'm going to skip to it right now. And here we are guys it's by the couch. Simply put it down and then activate it and it's going to fly around in your apartment pretty cool isn't it just a little decoration i guess it's to remind us how we weren't accepted in the trauma team anyway guys thanks for watching that's going to be all for this guide and i'll see you in the next one bye for now